I kid you not, every time I go out of town to go to a convention or go to Collecticon, tons of Pokemon news and reveals happens and I miss it. Apparently, we have Silver Tempest product reveals and EX Pokemon cards are coming back with Scarlet and Violet. What? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. Recently, today on Poke Beach, and thanks to my friend Ollie over at Seismic Shock TV, we have some Silver Tempest product reveals, and this Silver Tempest is looking good. Let's start off with the Silver Tempest product reveals. Now, first thing that we can see is we can see the single pack blisters, or basically the booster pack artwork. So if we look at the booster pack artwork, um, they look... <laughs> They look really, really nice. Uh, so we have Alolan Vulpix V-Star, we have Lugia V-Star, Reggie Drago V-Star, and Reggie Lecky V-Max. And all four of these blister pack and booster pack artworks look really, really, really nice. The only thing that I'm not liking, and we're gonna see this as we move forward and look at the Elite Trainer Box and some of the other products, is I would have been Ob like I would have thought it obvious and I would have put money on the fact that I would have assumed Lugia would have been like the main Pokemon of this set that like Lugia would have been the mascot or whatever the case may be but if we go down further and if we look at the uh if we look at the elite trainer box artwork clearly Alolan Vulpix is meant to be the main Pokemon or the mascot of this set which I guess makes sense because they haven't done an Alolan Vulpix that is the main mascot character Pokemon of the set but I think it would have been really cool to have Lugia. That's what I was assuming. I was assuming that Lugia was going to be a huge part of the set. And maybe with the cards, Lugia may very well be a huge part of the set. Let me know down in the comments below if you would rather it be Lugia or you would rather it be Alolan Vulpix. Now, it very well could be that Alolan Vulpix is just kind of the mascot for the artwork and Lugia could have some really bomb cards. That's very, very possible. But I did think that this was interesting. So if you look at the Elite Trainer Box, obviously you see Alolan Vulpix. This isn't the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. This is the regular one. Just looks like a normal ETB with your sleeves and your packs and all that good stuff. Additionally, we also have the artwork for the three pack blisters. And one of them's going to come with a Manaphy card. The other one's going to come with a Togetic card. Now, the good thing about these is these are actually Black Star promos. Sometimes, and I, I'm not quite sure why, but sometimes Pokemon puts out these blisters or single blisters and the cards aren't actually promos that's just a card that you could pull from the set which I always thought was really really weird and the product from this set that I'm most excited about is this is a new product that is actually being introduced with Lost Origins so we'll see this very soon in Lost Origins and that is the new product that Pokemon has put out and it is the booster pack bundle it says literally just a box that looks kind of like a pre-release kit and it has six booster packs in it that's it no coins, no die, no weird stuff that ends up in a big freaking box on the side of your wall or all over the floor and you step on it at 2.30 in the morning and you scream and you say a cuss word. Don't ask me how I know that. This product is really cool. I'm excited to see this in Lost Origins and it looks like they're doing it again for Silver Tempest and it's literally just a box with six booster packs and I want to say it's going to be like 25 bucks or 30 bucks. That's great. A lot of us just want the Pokemon cards. Give us an option just to get six packs or just to get five packs. I absolutely love this product. I think it's going to be a very, very cool and next up is the news that i think probably made a lot of people think holy cow how is this even happening pokemon revealed at worlds just kind of at the end of worlds over in london this past weekend that scarlet and violet is bringing back ex pokemon it's been several years since we had ex pokemon and i know a lot of people absolutely loved this mechanic and loved these pokemon so there were several reveals but the most notable of the two are going to be corridon ex and miradon ex and this is interesting because these are supposed to work like the original EX mechanic where basically they evolve from their previously evolved form, whatever the case may be. So like a Pikachu will evolve into a Raichu, uh, EX, and so on and so forth. But these specific two cards right here, uh, Koraiden and Miradin, and I'm probably saying they're both wrong. I don't know. Forgive me. I, I, I don't pronounce everything properly. Uh, look super overpowered and super cool now there's a lot of interesting things that a lot of the information on these two specific cards is blocked out you can't see the hp you can't see what type of pokemon they are you can't see what type of energy they have to use in order to power their attacks you don't see what they're weak against all that stuff they've kept a lot hidden for these two pokemon so there's a lot that may or may not make these incredibly overpowered or not but if we just look at their abilities Corridan's ability uh dino cry once during your turn you may attach up to two basic it's not telling us energy cards from your discard pile to your basic. It's not telling us what type of Pokemon in any way you like. If you use this ability, your turn ends. Very powerful ability. Uh, very powerful, but nowhere near as powerful as the next one. So Miradon's ability says tandem unit. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic 
it's not telling us the energy type Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. So this ability basically lets you search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them on your bench every turn and it doesn't end your turn. That is a powerful ability. Then combined with the new EX aspect, you could see a lot of crazy things happening with the ability tandem unit from Mirrodin. Very, very cool. Very interesting to see EX coming back. Lots of cool Pokemon news coming out. I'm very excited for what Pokemon's doing and some of the new things they're bringing up. Uh, you may not be excited about EX. They're bringing back an old mechanic. That's that's different, right? It's not V-Star. It's something that's been used before but was very, very popular. So I want to know what your opinions are. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these news reveals. And if you like Pokemon, check that video out. Why, wouldn't, why would you be here if you don't like Pokemon? You'll enjoy that video, I promise you. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.